What's up everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take the little webcam on your computer and Adobe Character Animator to convert yourself into an animated character which you can control with your eyes, your lips, your mouth and even your words just like the one you're seeing right now and many other styles like this other one that you're seeing right here all within Character Animator and in less than 5 minutes even if you had no animation skills or you don't even know how to draw and I'm gonna be showing you how to do all of this in this tutorial. Now this is part 2 in my series of how to convert yourself into an animated cartoon. In the first part I showed you how you could take a picture of yourself and convert that into a puppet using Character Animator. Now this gave you the foundation of how puppets are made and you can always tweak that and fix any issues with your puppet if you want to. Today we're gonna be doing things a lot more simpler, we're gonna be using an inbuilt tool called Characterizer. Now this aims to automate that process of converting yourself into a puppet. It doesn't work as good as the first part that we did but you can still get some very decent results using this method and I'm going to show you how that works in a minute. If you don't have Character Animator installed, I'm going to put a link down in the description to a 7 days trial. You can download that to follow along this tutorial and if you've never used the software before, I have a 7 minutes video that gives you a quick overview of how the software works. I'm going to put that also in the description so you can check that out to see how the software works. Now without wasting any time, let's get straight to the tutorial. To open the Characterizer tool, simply go to Files and then click on Open Characterizer. This will open the tool uh, and then you have several options. You can click right below here on More to import an image that you have on your computer to import. But I advise to just use the new capture and start the process from scratch. So I'll click on New Capture. Now this will lead you to the process of capturing your facial features. So some tips that I have for you here is that make sure that your background is not cluttered because the computer is going to be uh, trying to separate your face from the background so it helps that if your background is not cluttered it helps it work better and then also just make sure that your face is properly lit so that the computer can tell the difference between your eyes and some of your facial features so once you're done with that and you're ready just make sure you align your head uh, to the little oval shape right here and have your nose sort of in the middle of the line and once you're ready just click on start capture and the process will start so i'm going to let that play out so you see what that process is like look at the camera lens and make a neutral expression in three Two, one. Close your eyes in three, two, one. Open your eyes and smile in three, two, one. Frown in three, two, one. Make a surprised expression in three, two, one. Repeat after me Adobe. Adobe. Photoshop. Photoshop. Lightroom. Lightroom. Woohoo! Woohoo! So once that is done, it's gonna capture several pictures. As you can see, it's taking different uh, pictures of your different expressions of your face, natural smiling, and all of that. In addition to that, it's also captured the different mouth shape that you make when you pronounce certain letters. That's why it was asking you to pronounce some of those words right there in the beginning. And this is gonna be used for the lip syncing whenever you're using the lip sync functions. So once you're done with that, you just click on finish, and this is gonna generate your puppet. All right, if everything worked well, you should now have this photo of your head, which has been automatically carved out by the AI. And if you click right here to the right, you should be able to scroll through the different facial expressions that it captured and also the different mouthpiece. So you can go through this to just make sure that everything looks right the way you want it to be. So if that looks good, the very next thing you want to do is to apply a style to your picture so it looks more like a cartoon and to do that simply just click on one of the styles that we have at the bottom here for example if i click this uh drawing style here as you can see my picture becomes a little bit cartoonized now that doesn't look very much like me but i'm going to show you how to fix that in a second if i go ahead and choose maybe like more of this charcoal style uh you can see the picture also changes to that charcoal style and there are numerous styles here and i'm also going to show you how to even change and create a custom style in a second so i'm going to go ahead and select a style here and tweak the parameters to look just right so i can show you what this looks like and then we're going to come back to go over what each of these parameters do as you can see, I now have a puppet which has been created for me, which I can control just using my head. So if I move my head, the puppet moves. If I blink my eyes, the puppet also blink. If I move my eyebrows, that also moves. And just using my mic also when I speak, the lip sync happens and the puppet mouth moves, which is pretty, pretty cool and quite easy to do. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This helps me to grow the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed and want to see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's continue with the tutorial. Alright, so far so good. Next, I'm going to walk you through each of the settings that we have right here and what they do to your image. 
So the very first option we're going to go through is the stylization. And that determines how much of the style you want to add to your image. For example, if I take this slide and drag it all the way to the end, it's going to add a lot more of the style and it looks more like the style and less like me. If I want it to look more like me and preserve my facial features, I'm going to drag and reduce the style. And as you can see, it now looks a lot more like me and uh, preserve some of my facial features. So the goal here is just to play around with this value until it looks uh, what the way you want it to be. So the next option you have right here is what is called a feature exaggeration. And this is used to exaggerate some features of your face if you want to change the way your face look. For example, if I drag this all the way, I have this sort of like a caricature head look. And then if I drag this all the way to the bottom, as you can see, my face is a little bit fat. So if you just kind of wanted to alter uh, a little bit of how your face looks, you can do this to give your face a different type of style. All right, next let's go through the circles option. So this sort of goes frame by frame and add an animated sequence to your puppet to sort of bring it to life. So it has this sort of a live illustrated look. For example, if I choose four circles, it's gonna go frame by frame. As you can see, it's adding some animation that stays constantly on the puppet itself. So the next two options go hand in hand. The resolution just changes the size of the puppet that you get, an overall bigger size, which gives you a better quality. And then the quality option just chooses how much fidelity you wanna have in the puppet. So if you choose a higher quality, you're gonna see more of the textures from the style that you apply, and it's gonna look overall good and a cripsier looking uh, puppet. But as it says, it's slower, so you need a much powerful computer if you're trying to do uh, something with a higher quality. But overall, I always choose the higher quality because I just feel like the details in the image uh, sells the effect more. The next option, head only, takes away the rest of the face and the head and gives you just the head of the puppet. Say you wanted to take this and put it in another body that you've generated or use just the face for something, you can check the head only option and that will take away the rest of the background and the body of your puppet. So the final option you have here is head turns. If you check this on, what character animator is gonna do is it's automatically gonna try to generate the side profiles of the face so that when somebody's doing a capture using the webcam, if they turn their head, uh, the puppet also turns and you can see a side profile of the face, like what you're seeing right now on the screen. Uh, it pretty does a good job at that and that gives your character uh, or puppet more life. So I would advise to turn on this feature depending on what kind of style of animation you're trying to do. So once you're done with your puppet, you have two options. You can either right click on this blue generate button right here and export this as a single frame. So this should just export whatever image you're seeing here and you can use this as a profile picture or whatever you want to do with the picture. The next option is to click on generate and this will now create a live puppet which you can now animate with your face and your voice, which is what we're going to do in this video. All right, so this was how I generated the puppet, which I demoed earlier. So let's go ahead and make this look a little bit more interesting. The first thing I want to do is resize my canvas. So just click right here on the empty area and that opens up the canvas. And then you go right here to the top right corner. I'll change this to 1920 by 1080. So the next thing we're going to do is add a background to this whole set so that it looks a little bit more interesting. Of course, there are many places you can get backgrounds from, but if you're trying to look for royalty free ones that you pay for, um, my go-to source for that is Envato Elements because they have not only backgrounds, but they also have sound effect libraries, there are uh, after effect templates, they even have Photoshop plugins like this that you can use to cartoon yourself, as well as cartoon assets for videos and things like that. So that's where I go uh, whenever I want to get uh, paid access. So I'll put a link to that, you can check that out and see if that works for you but you can also check google and some other sites to get whatever background to put to make things look nice so i'm just gonna drag the background and drop it into the timeline and again if you need an overview of how all of this works check out my quick intro into this software that's gonna show up at the end screen after this video so i have the background right here next if i just go to the right i would just change the x and y position of the puppet to make sure it matches within the picture frame and because the background i'm using has some transparency around the picture frame i'm just gonna come right here and drag my puppet to the lower layer so that it fits properly within the frame and looks more realistic. And now all I need to do is just hit the record button and I can start creating something cool. Hey there, look at me, I'm an art masterpiece. How cool is that? And when you play that back, hey there, look at me, I'm an art masterpiece. How cool is that? All right, I'm sure that has been exciting so far. Finally, we're going to talk about creating your own custom style. So let's say you don't want to use any of the styles that they have here and you want to create something custom. So that's quite simple to do. All you have to do is find an image of the painting you want to use, the drawing or the sculpture. You can check for that online, like on Google. You just need to make sure that you have the right licensing for that if you're going to be using this for commercial purposes. But since I just want to demonstrate to you how that works, I'm just going to go right here on Google and search for an oil painting. And I can see this painting here by uh, Charles Hanford. Uh, from atc.net. So we're just going to use this for demonstration purpose only. So I'm going to download and save this image on my computer and I'm going to show you how we can convert this into a style. 
So once you have your image downloaded, what you want to do is go right here and click on new style and then select the image. So this is going to open the puppet generator and it's going to do its best to try to map out the facial features from the image that you just uploaded. But in case it doesn't do a good job, just click right here on the uh, magnifying glass. You can use this to expand and zoom in. And then if you switch to the vector tool, you can click on each of these points and adjust it to fit properly with the way that the facial features of the image that you just uploaded are set just to make sure you get everything right. So once you're done with this, simply just head over to the top and click on next. So the next thing is going to ask you to do is paint out where you have your face, your hair, uh, some of the clothes and the background. Now it's going to do a good job to try to automatically pick this, but sometimes it missed some of this. Like right here, I can see where it has the green there. It's still some face there. So I'm just going to click on the brush tool and you can change the size of the brush tool right here to the right at the bottom. So just make that smaller. And then I'm going to go right here to the face and begin to paint out the parts of the face that it missed uh, just to make sure it captures all of the face from the picture. So you're going to have to repeat the same steps for the hair, the neck, the clothing and the background. And then once you're done, just click on done right here at the top. And that's all there is to it. You now have your own very custom style that you can apply to your puppet and give it whatever look that you're trying to create. So one thing to note about the puppets is that they're actually editable Photoshop files. So if there's something about the puppet that was generated that you don't actually like, if you know how to use Photoshop, you can actually edit this and they're, they're in each layers and you can edit some of that. Like in my case, the background right here looks a little bit mushed up. So I'm just going to right click on the puppet file right here and click on edit original. So as you can see right here, if I open up the puppet group, I have access to each and every layer that was generated and I can make whatever edit it is that I want to make to this. In my case, I simply just want a ton of the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off and save it. Now, if I head back to character animator, you can see now that I have my puppet without the background and I can go ahead and import this custom uh, frame, which I've already made to make it look nicer. And then like that, you see uh, my puppet now looks great and I can use this to create whatever video content I want to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. As you can see, this was much easier than the previous tutorial. This is a very, very easy way that you can piece puppets together that look like you and you can start creating engaging content within minutes. Once again, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I do ask that you help me by hitting that thumbs up button and do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Keep learning. Bye-bye.